residents of Suke in the Lambusi district of the Upper West Region say they've been having sleepless nights following the upsurge of crime in the area, especially cross-border ones. According to the interim national president of the Dagbaan area, Abdullah Suleimana, that place is now a hideout for notorious fugitives from Burkina Faso. A police station that was constructed three years ago to deal with crime in the area has been abandoned and it also serves as a shelter for animals. Joy News' Upper West correspondent Rafiq Salam reports from Suke. Suke, located in the Lambusia district of the Upper West region, is a predominant farming community. It is some few kilometers away from neighboring Burkina Faso and used mostly by criminals and their elements as their hideout. Recently, four notorious fugitives entered a bank in Burkina Faso, tied up employees for an hour and shot dead the security man on duty before bolting away with unspecified amount of money. They were arrested by the youth of Suke handed over to Lamuse police for onward extradition to their home country to face trial. We are not at a peace at all as far as um, uh, stealing and other things are concerned. Interim National President of Dangman Youth, Abdullah Suleiman Yelwe noted that crime rate in the area is on the rise. As a result, residents now have sleepless nights. A lot of uh, thieves are around. We end up losing all our animals to teeth. Kettles, this particular um, environment used to be our cattle ranch, very big one. One morning we wake up and everything was gone. And the same thing to all the communities within, they all experience similar things. And a uh, few traders here, you know there's a market here. And when they come and trade and they are going, they are attacked by armed robbers. So the security situation here is very bad. The irony of the situation is that a police station that was constructed and finished three years ago for the community has now turned into an abut for goats and sheep. Former district chief executive for Lambusi, Kofi Bumdiaka, doesn't understand why the structure has been abandoned despite its completion in November 2016. Everything has been down, but the police station is still not in use, and I don't understand. What is annoying me, let me use the word annoying me, or disappointment is that before I left office, there was an interim commander who was sent here, but today we don't have that commander. The people are talking of accommodation, and I think accommodation should not be a problem. If we should get a policeman here, accommodation should not be a problem, and that should not be an excuse as far as security is concerned. Let me use this opportunity to appeal to my successor to make sure that this project that is the project of the people, the project that is for the welfare of the people, is being utilized accordingly. Meanwhile, Upper West Public Relations Officer of the Ghana Police Service, Inspector Gideon Borton, denied the assertion that the police station at Suki has been abandoned, though we showed him current pictures and videos of the police station. He however conceded that they are unable to operate there fully due to lack of accommodation and inadequate personnel. We lack men in the region anyway. I said earlier on, we try as much as possible, the little that we have, to disseminate our strength. So the people over Suke, the people in Suke do not think that police have ignored, ignored them. We have ignored them. Over 900 police personnel in the last three years have been transferred out of the Upper West region, leaving the Upper West Police Command with a little over 400 police personnel. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam, Suke. Rafik Salam with that report. In the meantime, a defense and security expert has pointed to the mining areas as potential breeding grounds for recruit, uh, recruitment of people to engage in terror acts. According to Brigadier General Emmanuel Kotia, retired, such was the case in April 2015 when terrorists struck at a minefield in Burkina Faso. Brigadier General Emmanuel Kotia wants Ghana to take a cue from the recent attacks in, in that country. He spoke with Daniel Dazi earlier on the Super Morning Show. The other thing that we need to take serious in this country is the use of CCTV cameras and this should and 
the use of UV camera must have effective monitoring. It's just not a matter of fixing the CCTV camera while they are not monitored effectively. And this should be monitored at vulnerable and key points, like malls, churches that we are seeing now today, Greco substations, all key areas and where areas that there are a lot of social gatherings. We must also improve the general security along our borders, improve the security at our churches, which will the National Security Minister in collaboration with the Minister of Interior should be able to call most of the church leaders to be able to educate them the implication and what measures they can collaborate with government to be able to prevent such a thing happening. Large garden areas must be watched very seriously. Such as hotels, vehicles, and public events must be heightened. Education of the public so that the public will look out for suspicious people within their community, suspicious movement within their community. They should report certain. The use of the media platform is key. The media itself needs to be educated on these things so that they will help in the education of the public so far as uh, uh, preventive measures are concerned.